XCOM Enemy Unknown from Firaxis is not just one of the best strategy games of the year, but easily one of the best overall games of the year. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. that's my game of the year. Well, you're the guy here that reviews every single PC strategy game. So you do much. everything from Civ to, you know, all these little obscure things that none of us have heard about. What does XCOM do, in your opinion, that makes it, like, I don't know about your guys' experience with strategy games. I could never even, like, figure out Civ and stuff. It was just way too dense as far as tutorials and stuff. It's, you feel like you have to look up four hours worth of stuff. What doesn't surprise about? me at all. <laughs> So what does XCOM do so smart that, that you can just jump in and an idiot like me is like immediately in love with it? Partially it's just that it abstracts a lot of the, the sort of minutia. It's like, go here, shoot this guy, right? And it's just, it's so much more intuitive, right? As opposed to a game like Civ where it's like, okay, well, what makes my city grow? Or is it like, what makes the enemy die? Shooting it in the face with an assault rifle. Good start. Well, that said, there are still some things that, like, you know, did you know when you started that, well, I better do satellite uplinks, because I know I'm not the only one that had to start over again after, like, 12 hours. I completely restarted the whole game. Yeah, there's definitely kind of that disconnect between the tactical combat on the ground and then managing your actual base, which I think a, a lot of people, probably a lot of console players, struggled with more than probably PC players did. I don't know that it, that you necessarily need to make a big distinction between console and PC players. I think it's just like people who are experienced in strategy games and people who aren't. But even so, like as you said, I play a ton of strategy games. It's like most of what I play. And it wasn't until my second trip through the game that I really had a good handle on the strategy layer. Everyone I talked to screwed up something with satellites, mm -hmm. including me. Like I was this, I was a hair away from needing a restart, but I was able just to pull off enough satellites, you know. And it would be one thing if someone didn't realize they needed uplinks or that they could make more than one satellite at a time. That part just wasn't communicated that well. But I feel like once people got that, it just the experience evened out for them. We've talked about like some line of sight issues. Besides line of sight and maybe not communicating the importance of satellites, like that game is pretty much flawless. Yeah, it's, I mean, I don't know that I'd call it flawless, but it's excellent. Those are the only two real big things that I would kind of point at uh, as far as things that I don't like about it. I'm so impressed with how good it is at the core of what it does. These turn-based, tense tactical battles where it's like, on normal's not that hard. Even so, because your soldiers die permanently when they run out of hit points, for the most part, I didn't want to go in the building to mm -hmm. figure out what was in there. It's like, there's aliens in there and they're gonna shoot my guys. Yeah. And it's like, they don't, you know, they don't really have backstories. You can name them whatever you like. They're very fungible, these soldiers are. But at the same time, you really grow attached to them. And, you, and the tension of the game is really what pushed it over the edge for me, I think. He is my best sniper. He is incredible. And he is the absolute worst in my game. I, I'm the commander. What class is he? And, uh, he's, he's, he's assault. And so I'm the main guy that, that leads the, the force every time. And I got hurt. And he went in. Immediately, him and Brian Board died in a car explosion. <laughs> you are the worst. Right, yeah, because Dan's controlling that. I'm, I'm really hurt by that. I was texting that. him. I was yeah. texting him like, Jeff, what should I do here? Stand next to the car that's about to explode. That's what you sent back, right? I care more about my XCOM characters than 95% of the characters in other games it's, that I've played. This oh, yeah. year it's Clementine and all of my XCOM uh -huh. guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's who I yeah. care about. I know it's an old genre, but it doesn't have a presence on consoles at all. Outside from Valkyria Chronicles, which was like criminally underappreciated and undersold, this is the first game since then that I've just like been so devoted to something that makes you think so hard and so strategic and just rewarding in such a different way than any other kind of game can be. So I hope that we see more of it from other developers because of this. When shooters started becoming so overblown, it's like everything else didn't matter anymore. And I think XCOM came out at a perfect time for that when people had shooter fatigue for so long now that I think just getting a new experience, an experience that you can replay, I think that was very good timing for XCOM. How many games would you play for 12 hours and then realize you're doing it wrong and then want to start over completely again? Mm -hmm. Like any other game, I think, I'd be like, screw that, I'm not doing that. All. Like I had to redo three hours of Darksiders because of the glitch and I'm still going through it like, oh, I just want to get to the new stuff. With XCOM, it was so, so good. It's just like, I don't mind doing that all again. I want to do it right. I want to do things differently. Well, it's, it's one of those great things because you've taken this knowledge and you get to apply other things that you learn beyond just satellites. Like, oh, I know if I research this sectoid, I'll get this or that. Some games boast replayability. It's like, oh, infinite. It's a great game, but it's like, well, do you just want to be a jackass or do you want to be like Jesus the entire time? Yeah. And and there's like really no gray area. You can play it twice and it'll be pretty much the same thing with some crazy different themes, but XCOM fundamentally just different experience. Jackass or Jesus is a great game show on ABC. <laughs> the other really big games for me this year were Mass Effect 3 
and The Walking Dead, which were just so story focused. And for XCOM, the actual story that's built into the game doesn't matter to me at all. Oh, like there, there are a few like interesting Feel those set aliens. piece yeah. moments, <laughs> but instead it's just this very personal story that doesn't need any kind of overarching narrative other than the one that's created in your mind while you're playing it. A morality system yeah. or anything? Yeah. Probably no, the, just shoot those guys. Probably the most <laughs> talked about game in the office, at least by our desks and stuff. We just were giving our battle stories every day, yep. every yep. single day. Like, oh well, I met a sect pod last night and now I don't have two guys. It was a lot of fun for me because I had played it for review already and so I was kind of the guru on the mountaintop as everybody was coming in and talking about oh I lost these guys last night I'm like that's because you're terrible this is how you're bad at this game. Not as terrible as the one guy in the office who keeps losing on easy. I'm gonna I don't know this but I'm guessing it's the guy that's holding the camera right uh, <laughs> Even after the patch that made it easier. <laughs> He's really bad at everything he does so that doesn't surprise me at all. The development team's on a plane to his But you know, right it's now. probably also a testament that <laughs> he's so bad at it and such a loser, and yet he still keeps on retrying. That's true. I mean, it's kind of like the He'll dog that gets locked <laughs> outside like and is just syndrome. scratching at the yeah. door and yeah. just... It's kind of sad, but still, I mean, it's, it's yeah. got some gusto about it. It's like it's the a guy testament that to the game. pushes the pole door but really wants to get inside, yeah. so he keeps on pushing it. <laughs> he's a stupid guy. I hate him. <laughs> I think that's a wrap. <laughs> Excellent. I've I don't think we need to edit this at all. I think it's pretty much solid gold front to back.